Well, put that up my ass. You are kind of sweaty. Okay, well, and you're bad at the game, so... Well, okay, there's that. You're only saying that because you're bad. <laughs> okay. Let's go check out this shipwreck real quick, and then we can move on. I thought you said there was one around the corner, too. Well, that what, was it. what do you mean? Like, the... I thought you said there was another cave No, 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 that was, that was it. Oh, sorry. That was okay. the cave that get, was around the corner. I don't want to get in a fight. Wow, look at this. I'm basically <laughs> playing Black Flag. Why? Because I'm in the water. Okay, got it. <laughs> water in games equals Black Flag. Would you like it if Nicki Minaj was the main character in an Assassin's Creed game? Well, I don't think that would fit, so no. But well, what if she, like, squeezed people between her butt cheeks? That's pretty cool. I'd play it. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just Go. saying, like, I think she's pretty hot. Like, she's she looks good. She's got a good body. She's always in good shape. I will say this. I don't think she is bad. Like, I, I, I'd say, like, five or six for me. I'm honestly starting to aim, like, up there for me. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Okay. Like, there's just well, something about her. I think she's hot. I mean, we all have bad taste. That's okay. It's not bad taste. She's the queen of rap. Well. You know You know what pisses me off, by the way? I don't think you can get out there. Okay. Also, I think these are just downed ships from the war games here. Okay. They probably were doing war games like with that festival and stuff similar to what we saw in the past with... Um, like Rome and stuff. I'm just making this up. But You're I'm just saying, like making up lore? I'm making up lore because there's the whole thing about the war games here and yeah. um, going to fight Radon and stuff and then there's a random down to ship there. So. Yeah, I mean it probably could have housed some warriors that came in. No, no, I just made something up. Okay. So there you go, it's new lore. Uh, Alright. I was going to ask you one question. Did we have to go back here and talk to someone? I don't think so. I think we already did that. Okay, now where do you want me to go? Let's go to the volcano area. This? Because I don't think we've even explored the volcano castle yet. Road of Iniquity? Well, I don't know. I thought the volcano castle was to the right. Well, what's all this then? I think there right. was I think there was a quest line. Down I don't know. in here? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It's been like five years so since we So you don't want this. me to go over here? You well, here. what if what if we get that uh, map that piece thing? on the map? Yeah, so you probably that have to go that way. Piece on the map. Yeah. There's also a thing here. Yeah. What if we explore that stuff? Okay. Let's I mean, here. my problem is I don't know where to go. Right. I don't even know what was next. Like, what was our objective? <laughs> well, we wanted to do the quest for that blind girl, which I'm not saying in a mean way. That's just I don't know her name. Okay. Right? Okay. <laughs> Okay, wait, she wait. was worthless because of it. No, I didn't say that. You said that. Mount Gelmir. There is a boss in Mount Gelmir. Is that where we are? Oh, Godskin. Godskin is the main boss of Mount Gelmir. He was the one we were supposed to do before Radon. Didn't we lose to that guy? I don't know. Well, what if we fight him? What if we do? Like, would you be happy? I would. I thought you wanted me to get this map piece. Well, yeah. Do you not want me to? No, now? I do. I'm, I do. Like, are you wanting to argue about it? Yes. I don't know how to get down there. This is going to kill me. <clears> well, did you put a thing on the map for the map piece? thought I did. I don't know. I can't pull up the map. Because in this game, if an enemy looks at you wrong, you can't use <laughs> okay. your map. Hey, wait a minute. This looks like Saluvis is... Wait, that disappeared. Where did that go? I don't know. Is this like the Mirage Castle in Pokemon Emerald? It is the Mirage Castle. This is Pokemon. Oh. 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 Did you like that deep cut Emerald reference I made? I did like that. Would you like to play through that on the channel? I would. I honestly, okay. so off the top of my head, and I think Joe wants to play these with us if we do, I would like to play um, Pokemon Leaf Green, or no, sorry, Fire Red, Fire Red. Okay, I was about to, like, really question your judgment. Emerald. Well, I used to only own Leaf Green. I didn't okay. own Fire Red. I used to only own Fire Red. Okay, well, I was about to really question your judgment. <laughs> Literally jump off a cliff. Sorry. No, <laughs> okay. Good. And then, um, I'd like to play Leaf Green. Oops. Emerald. Let's just not talk about it anymore. Let's talk about something else. You'd like to play Fire Red, Emerald. And Crystal. Okay. Did you want to play Platinum? I don't know how to, because I don't know how to how to record DS games. Isn't there an emulator of it? Well, Nate, that's not legal. Right, right, yeah, yeah, it's not legal. Who is this what guy? What is that thing? What is that face? Ah! What is it? How many drinks for that? Imagine since that was since that was snakes, uh, in infinite. Infinite. Okay. It wouldn't even be possible. Oh, you're afraid of snakes. I uh, not really. I'm just afraid of them on me. So, were you... Jill, did you just kick that thing again? What happened? I was walking 
walking past and this thing got stuck on my sleeve. Though. Are you okay? Yeah, I think I just scratched my Just take it off the wall. Um, my dad used to be terrified of snakes. Yeah. But then not scared of bugs. See, that's, that is weird to me. And my oh, wife... Oh, so my dad's weird. No, my wife is the same way to me. Like, she's horrified of snakes, but she's fine, like, killing any spiders. And I'm like, how? And you're not fine with spiders? No. Spiders are disgusting. What is this guy? Hey, buddy. What is this? Touch phantom? Examine? Yeah. Touch three phantom crests. Oh, so it's like a riddle. We'll touch this one. I feel like doing what they tell you to in Elden Ring is just a bad idea. Is everything going well? Yeah. Yay! We're almost out of the game, actually. We're going to beat it, like, we... today, probably. No, we're I not. I don't think so. <laughs> um, you want me to... Should I go get this first? Yeah, you might as well. Might as well. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you can think snakes are more disgusting than spiders. Like, spiders are hideous. Well, I get, Oh. I always say- I always say spiders were like God's one mistake with creation. Well, that's definitely not true, because you were also born. Okay, that's true. Oh. Spiders were the first mistake. Wait, hey. here's one. Hey, I might as well, as well just touch it. What? Oh, jeez. This must be like a Mirage Guardian. Is that like an offensive thing? <laughs> yeah, you made me angry with your joke. Okay. Whoa! 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 That guy just off himself? Huh. I'm with you, buddy. He self deleted. Me too. Me too. I still can't believe they put a suicide joke in SpongeBob of all things. That guy, like, goes up. Have you seen this? It was a really old episode I, I was I watching. I probably have then. And this dude, he's like, uh, he's like a fish guy. I think sometimes he orders at the Krusty Krab, and I think he might work at the supermarket. And he, like, goes over to this noose, and he's like, One day, old friend, one day. Yeah, that guy, yeah. <laughs> but not today. <laughs> and, like, I think it went over kids' heads, but it's literally a suicide joke. Yeah. I mean, that was also in uh, The Simpsons, too. <laughs> what is death like? Oh, my goodness. What was that? Can you look that up? What was that? What was Death Blight? I don't know. I'm worried that's like curse. I think we lost some of our max health. But yeah, that was in The Simpsons too. There was a joke like that where Mo did that same thing. <laughs> he had like something go right for him, and then he looks back at a noose. He's like, Not today, old pal. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they just ripped off The Simpsons? Uh, I don't know. Um, let's see. Death Blade is a status effect in Eldering. Okay. Yeah, it, all it is, it's, um... Oh, it can be... Mi oh, never mind. So basically all it is is just instant death. Really? When your when your death blight gauge gets full, then you just die. Well, what is it? It's like a curse that gets put on you. It doesn't, as far as I could see, it doesn't have any lasting effects. It just it just kills you. Is this where we were? Yes. Okay. We were down here. Who's that guy? Did I go the wrong way? I think you did. Great. Well, there's so many of, like, these markers. Yep, sorry. I went the wrong way. Well, now I have to go back behind you. Well, let's just commit to this. Well, it could. I mean, wh where, how do you want me to get up there? I mean, behind you, there's a thing you can jump up. Okay, all right. You see that white guy over there? Hey, that's racist. Sorry. Get him! Cracker! I prefer Cracker. Get him! You're in the wrong neighborhood, buddy. Are you okay with beating up white people? I'm okay with any <clears throat> racial violence, honestly. <laughs> okay. Well, like, I mean, you're all either okay with all of it or none of it. That's the saying, right? I'm okay with all of it. Right, but I mean, are white people really people? I mean, like, white people in the past... You should clarify your joking so we don't get in trouble here. Well, but white people in the past, they, they, they oppressed... You mean a bunch of dead old men? They oppressed other people, so therefore the current white people are not really people. And you can oppress them. 
right. You know you are white, right? This doesn't... Yes. This isn't gonna help you. I am white. I'm just looking for sympathy. How? By appealing to everyone oh, else. Oh, oh, got it. Okay. By basically saying, like, I'm an ally. You're being a pick. I hate myself. Pick me. Yes, let me bow down. Right, that makes sense. So I think the symbol's to your right. I'm glad a bunch of old dead people did something, so now I have to suffer for it. That's how it works. I thought we already got those two symbols. Well, no, no, no. Oh, wait, wait, hey. You have to get the touch grace. Because there's also the... You have to get the map piece that I think is number two. Well, I know I have to do that, but I thought you wanted me to finish this... Um... Plug it like leveling up? Well, no, I can't do that oh, yet. Oh, okay. If you want, I, I could just... Do you want me to just get rid of our things so we don't have to worry about it? What thing? Like our... Our oh, souls. Oh, souls, yeah. Or Why don't we do that? Uh, not blood echoes. What are they even called here? <sighs> you know, to be honest with you, I don't know. It's been so long. I... <laughs> Ruins. <laughs> Ruins. <laughs> Definitely not souls, it says in the description. Uh, everybody was begging me to finish my list, so we will go back to that. Okay, what game did you leave off on? I don't remember. Okay. So that's a bit of a problem. I'd say level up anything. At this point, who really cares? Like, I think we're so far... far up on the list that... I'd like to get Vigor. Vigor. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Actually, wasn't there a reason to level up intelligence more? Uh... I think there was. To, like, 80. Uh, uh, oh, like, to wield a weapon? To, like, use some spell or something. Okay. But like you said, who cares is kind of where I'm at, too. Well, pull up your app. First off... So, yeah, we're going to two. So, so you want me to go get that and then do the riddle? Yeah. Because we're really changing our, our standards here quite a bit. First you want me to do the riddle, then you want me not to do the riddle... Well, I mean, why don't we just, like, get the map piece, then we can see everything. Okay. I mean, now you're running away from the map. It's literally, isn't it over here? No, it's at number two. Well, I thought you had to go around oh, this. maybe you do. I thought you had to go over here and go around, because there's, like, a wall here. I mean, what do I know? I'm just a Giga Chad. Because, look, now I'm on the path. Right. No, wait, the path is up there. So somehow you have to get up there. Somehow Palpatine returned. Well, he re <coughs> explained how in Fortnite. <laughs> okay. So well, also, <laughs> the other thing about that is what I... Now, I'm not saying this excuses it, but I'm saying, like, there is an in-canon explanation for why Palpatine returned. Yeah, cloning. Yes. I mean, that it is it is a canon explanation. Now, I'm not expecting everyone to, like know every single fine detail of like the Clone Wars and Rebels and Star Wars Battlefront 2's uh, campaign, you know, and like all these other shows. I think it is kind of ridiculous, but I... What's that noise? Like a bird. I don't know. But what I do think is kind of ridiculous is everyone's like, what a bad explanation! It doesn't even explain it! It's like, well, they do. Yes, I think it's ridiculous that they expect you just to know all this random canon stuff, but there is an in-canon explanation. Yes. So, it's not... No, I, I don't think that means that the movie needs to hold your hand and, like, explain every possible thing, but... I do. You do? Yeah, I think that I'm stupid oh, and nice. everything told to me. What, you like this move? Yeah, I like that move a lot. <clears throat> so, I guess for me it's kind of like, well... I don't know. I mean, it. I don't. I don't know. I'm not expecting like the casual fan to know that, but you're if, saying it's not a big deal. You like the story. Well, what I'm saying is, if there is a in canon explanation for it, don't whine about it, because it's there. Well, but can I add something to that? Okay. It can also be a bad in canon explanation for it. There, oh sure, yeah. Because there's an in canon explanation for why Luke Skywalker just gives up. Right. I don't it's think not, it's a very it's good It's not good one. writing. Um, I know you're tired of me doing this, but I found something, and we don't know where to go. So I'm just exploring it. Okay. Liar ahead? Wrath of Gold? Is this like the sequel to Wrath of Khan? Okay. I don't know what it is. You should watch that movie, by the way. Very good movie. Wrath of Gold uses FP. That's Warning Stone. Oh, they look the same. 
<laughs> okay. It was gold. So All right. It's the we same have a thing. racist over here. It's the same thing. <clears throat> um, oh, here. No, that's Golden Seed. Okay, well. Wrath of Gold is stuff. a... It's, um... It's like an... It was like an item with a person, like a silhouette of a person on it. So I don't think it's any of these. Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. Right there. Oh. Right. There you go. Produces golden shockwave that knocks back foes. Superior Erd Tree Worship Incantation. This incantation was discovered when the Elden Ring was shattered. It was feared as a sign of the Erd Tree's wrath. Nice. Oh. All right, so let's keep going then. Okay, we let's find that map piece. Kind of annoyed that there was no um. Ah, that, that noise is creepy. Well, it seems to me like we have to go up. Well, what if we go get, what if we get this one first, so then we're on the road? But I don't know if what we is this? can even get to that. It's the thing. No, I know, but I can't go up either, as far as I can tell. Like it's not, it's not easy to just go up. Well, like, what I can't it... just get in the air and fly. Right. What, what is this sound? Like I'm kind of like freaked out here. I know. I let me go for two for. Wait a minute. Two's also up on the cliff. Two's on the cliff. Well, okay. Is what there am a, I hearing? Is there a path? Do you hear that? Yeah, I do. I don't know what this is. I don't know. Apparently, I'm playing silent. So go to the left. Over there, up. Do you want me to go to this? No, up to that other one, left. Looks like that one has a path. So you want me to get on the path and just stay? Yeah, might as well. Okay, I will do that for you. Not for me, though. But for me. For you. Thank you. Do you want... And then you I think what? It, that's the path. Let's just... Let's do this. <sighs> let's remove... So we're looking for three. But we're not going there. Okay. We're following a dumb path. <laughs> right. That's another thing that kind of bothers me about this game, is the exploration is kind of annoying. Like, I like the exploration, I like that usually in open world games, but not when it's just annoying. Can I give you a slightly different perspective, though, as someone who agrees? I think part of what's annoying you more than me is that you want to get to other games. Do you know what I'm, I mean? You mean like I'm impatient? Yeah, and you want to go play other games on the channel. That's true. Which I agree, and I do too. But, like, also, we should enjoy this game while we can. Because right. we're, we're never going to enjoy it for the first time ever again. Mm -hmm. And I do feel like we've liked it a lot more as we played, don't you? Like, I think that the first, like, maybe five hours, I think we were a little harsher on it. Yeah. And now that we've been playing it longer, it's kind of more fun. Yeah, I mean, I I will say though, I am I am annoyed with the exploration because it does seem like every, everywhere we go, it really to me seems like it's like oh I want to get up here oh and I have to go over here oh I don't know how to get up there oh how do I get up here and you're spending half the game like running around just trying to find how to get to places because they don't make anything like easy to find right and I think that that's something that's just. It's just annoying. Wait, like, this guy can't pull it on his own. Well, I, yeah, that's I'm sad. <laughs> oh, you are? Well, yeah, because like he wants to pull it, and then you're just going to kill him. Well, you should get a new job. Okay. I I agree with you. All I was saying was, like, I also think it's cool how... Okay. Jeez. I think it's cool how... Um... One second. Come on, hit me. Hit me. Come are you going to parry? Yeah. Come on, hit me. You're gonna parry the platypus in? I was gonna do like the. Oh, it's R2. Um, here, watch this. You hit me. Come on. You hit me. Are you scared? That's nice. Uh, we are out of the magic one. I was just gonna say sorry for like interrupting myself and getting off track, but I think it's cool how in depth the world is, though, too. Yeah, it and is how, very cool. How much there is to actually explore and find. Because. I've I've really found that stuff interesting. Although I will say that the most interesting to me is talking to NPCs. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean it is it is okay. It is pretty interesting. I will say that. But I just I don't know. Like the 
I'm not saying you have to love it. No, I know. I'm just saying, like, the in, the intense, annoying, like, obnoxious trying to figure out where things are type of thing is very just annoying to me. Now, what if you jump on that cliff to your left? Yep. Well, and that's then, cool. Yeah, and then it looks like that now is bringing you onto the bridge. It's taking a lot of self-restraint for me to not stop at every cool thing I, I know. see. I know, I <laughs> know. But I'm just going to get the map. As long as you're not going to chew me out for exploring the area. No! You have to get to the final boss! You looked at that bridge one second too long! I'm genuinely shocked a dragon isn't swooping in to be like, Hey, by the way, time to mess up your day. I know. And just, like, fight us. Who's this? Is that an NPC? This looks like a Loodle. That is an NPC. I think. Why is he doing the Sieg Heil? Oh, he's pointing. He's pointing somewhere. What's he pointing at? The tree? Oh, he's pointing at the Erd tree, okay. Well, what is... Oh. Can I do anything with this guy? Maybe he's just a worshipper of the tree. I also okay. love the Erd tree. <laughs> okay. So, you told me, by the way, about getting on the road and staying there. Yeah. I'd like you to look here. That's that road. So... Well, can you hop on your horse and double jump there? No. Okay. You think I can make that jump? No way. I think you can. I can't. Okay. Do you want me to show you? I mean, are you kind of being a pussy? And then what if you, uh, well, what if you just did it right? Yeah, what if I just did it right? So did I, you really think I could make that jump? I thought you could. I mean, I figured it was easier to just show you it would kill me than to tell you I can't. Okay. So we are now back here. Jill cut ahead. Maybe we just go do that in a bit. Yeah. Jeez. Jill, you can show whatever you want here. I'm just trying to go back towards that bridge, and I was going around these houses to get over there because the bridge collapsed. But I don't... I thought there would be something at the houses since I had to go around them anyway. Right. What was that? Well, seem, well you're being attacked by, like, killer nuns over here. Yeah, I killed most of them. Do you have, like, a nun kink? No, and I don't know who does. But I know it's a thing. I mean, priests don't even have a nun kink. No, they have, like, a congregation kink. I know. I mean, do you think a nun could be really hot? No. She's already married to Jesus. Okay. How can I compete with that? That's true. I mean... Look. Jesus had such a big you-know-what that they had, to, like, <laughs> okay. they had to nail him to the cross to keep it there. Got it. <laughs> That's why. They normally would tie you to the cross. It's a historical fic. A fact. Fact. A historical fic. <laughs> and they would tie you to the cross, but Jesus' like, stuff was so heavy. Got it. They're like, they couldn't do that. They just had to, you know, do the nailing. All right, let's go this way. It sounds like some weird main Catholic church version of the Bible. Huh? <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! no! Why would that kill you? I don't know. I don't know how to get to that one. I just don't. You want me to try? Sure. Okay. Be my guest. I see thee. Tarnished. Smoldering with that wretch flame of ambition. What oh. in the world? Okay. Was that Morgoth? I don't know. Here. There's a guy over there we can talk to, I think. Like yeah. The horse. Talk to him. Well, should I get the map since it's just right down here? Sure. I'm just like really worried about dying no, and I then know. having to come all the way I'm, back here. I'm not, I'm not saying anything. 
about it. Looks like I can summon right here. Yeah, it looks like it's just down here. Oh, jeez! Now I think there's a dragon. Ah, great. Uh, I just want the map! I thought you were at the map. It's, I think, just over here. Oh, gosh. Watch, like, three dragons spawn around it. Yeah, now, unfortunately, I, I can't pull up the map to see where the map is. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. And a Sight of Grace. And Golden Seeds. Nice, we got that, and let's touch Grace. Nice. Oh, my goodness. There we go, now we touch Grace. Let's go down here. You did some kind of emote. Are you kidding me? You did some kind of emote there. I just want to... Rest at grace. Oh, let's add charge to the flask. So, okay, so a new map has been found, Lanedal Castle. Wait a minute, we need to go to Lanedal after we beat, uh, after we beat, um, what's that guy's name? Godric. Godric. Or Godskin. We have to fight Godskin at Lore at Mount Gelmir. Which is back there. Oh, then we have to fight Mog, Lord of Blood, at Mogwin Palace. Then we have to come over here to Laindal. Okay, well, let me look around for just a minute here. Okay. This kind of looks like the area that... That, um... Wait, what's that guy? The NPC that was up there. Well, I'm gonna go there, but then after that I wanted to turn around because I think I found the way to that other map. Okay. When I was looking at the map while you were playing. You oh. played yourself, but I played the game. You you're, just didn't know. You're playing chess, I'm playing checkers. Alright, what? Oh, jeez. We have like a weird the... cherubim. Well, isn't this one of those death birds? I don't know. It looks like a weird version of one. <coughs> just... Okay, he's gonna like helicopter here. Oh! He's like helicoptering with his peen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is the mimic tier here? Let's hide it. <laughs> okay. Can you shoot, like, a Rinala and a full moon at him? Not, uh, while he's doing that, no. Okay. Oh my gosh. Alright, alright. I got it. Okay, okay. Okay. <sighs> we provide the best commentary during Elden Ring, have you noticed that? Things like, NO! Okay, yes! Well, the game is so stressful, like, what do people want us to say? <laughs> I don't know, I didn't mean okay. that, but I was just... Okay. Making a joke. Well, I, I can talk. Oh, nice. We got the gargoyle's great axe. Nice. Um, that was a great ass he had. I mean, great axe. He <laughs> had a great axe. So, anyways, um, you yeah. never answer my question about games with boring intros. I can't think of any. You can't think of any? I mean, I'm sure there are. A lot of JRPGs are that way. They have just boring intros? Yeah. A lot of Final Fantasies are that way, too. Yeah. Just... Please. I can read them. Your fingers. Please, your fingers. Ah, the fingers I served once prophesied. A tarnished would one day become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. Surely you see it too. The gold. I see it. Pretty thick, dang. Heavens. I see it. The great tree which begets the pillars of light. Oh, tarnished. Hasten to the foot of the tree. And whatever you might face. The fingers will surely guide you. They're guiding me to something, alright. This lady's definitely wanting the two fingers buckle. Okay. Interesting. So the way I was going to go to get to the other map was actually this way. Yeah. And I think if we push on down the path, we can get there. Yeah, JRPGs have that problem all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, and the funny thing is I just finished... Um, I guess it's not really funny, but it's I just hilarious. finished the Final Fantasy VII remake game, and I actually didn't, I actually didn't find that intro game to be that boring. 
I have found the intro to be fun. For Seven Remake, yeah. I mean, yeah. I thought the same thing of the original Seven. Yeah, I mean, I just immediately I thought the, game, the action. Yeah, I thought the whole game was fun. I think a lot of times what happens, though, is you start out as just a normal person, and it takes a little while to get into the action of what you're supposed to do or be. Yeah. And that's why, like, the certain games are very slow to start. Uh, right. It happens a lot with JRPGs just because they're so long, you know? Oh, no, not two of these... Oh, great. Now there are two. Wait, the tree sentinel. I thought we killed. We had two tree sentinels now after us. One wasn't enough. Oh, oh no. <gasps> great. Now there are two. Another game, speaking of Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy X. I thought it was like kind of like a slower intro. I didn't dislike it. I did like playing around in Xanarkin. I thought that was really cool. Mm -hmm. And doing like the that uh, underwater soccer game or whatever that was called. Blitzball. Yeah, Blitzball. I thought that was fun. Blitzball but, is awesome. But Final Fantasy X is actually a game I want to play on the channel eventually. I yeah, it's a really fun game. Well, what? So I really like Blitzball and I like running around in Xanarkin. However, I thought the game got significantly better as soon as you warped out of Xanarkin. I agree. <clears throat> Alright. 